Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you my newest free barn build, which is Clover Creek. I know a lot of y'all are like, finally, he loves us. I haven't done a free barn in a long time. I think my last one was... My last one was Sunflower Symphony, was it not? It's been a hot second since I posted a free barn for you guys to use. And let me tell you, this one, she's thick. Okay, this one is bigger than King's Landing and I charged $15 for King's Landing. So this is for you guys who don't really have extra money to spend on things like my Ko-Fi barns. I completely understand. I'm sorry it took me so long to get a free barn out. Also, thank you to everyone who helped me with this. I will be putting credits down below of who helped with what and I'll probably be giving them credit in the video as well because I really, really do appreciate the help of anyone who helps me with my barn. So I'm gonna give them credit where credit is due. Also, I have bunny ears on. I thought they were cute, but it reminded me of Easter and that that's probably when you guys will be seeing this. Comment if you saw it before Easter because I swear to God, YouTube has been putting my videos in the algorithm a month after they're posted. It'll be at like 10,000 views and then a month after, everyone's like, oh, hey, found you on the explore page, subscribing. I'm like, how? Merry Christmas at this point because that's when some of you guys will be seeing this. Anyways, yeah, happy Easter. All of the mods that are in this video are in my mod pack, which is in the description. And at the end of this video, I will be showing you how to get this barn in your world. Don't feel ashamed if you don't know how to import worlds or add mods or any of that stuff. We all start somewhere. Some of us are a little bit more uneducated with that. You're not a burden. You're doing great. I'm proud of you. Don't feel bad or stupid or dumb because you don't know how to do certain things. That's why I'm here to teach you this shadow go away it's chasing me i don't like how the time changes on the single player worlds on my server it changes really slow and on single player worlds it's like so quick i'll be adding chapters into this video as well if you want to skip ahead or kind of stay behind and watch the entire video if you are downloading this barn i do have rules on my ko-fi i just ask that you read those because i don't want anybody getting the wrong ideas and doing something that they're not supposed to be doing and they don't know and they just it's a mess so just read the rules is what i'm asking before i keep on yapping i'm gonna get into the video explore the barn with me enjoy this video if you guys like this type of content or want more free barns please subscribe because it helps me and supports me and lets me continue doing this, which is something I really, really love. So we're gonna start with the actual barn and I know like we should probably start at the entrance or something like that. I usually start with the entrances, but we're gonna start with the barn because that's like the main thing. We're not gonna go into the barn just yet. I wanted to show the logos. So this one I made with Canva. It's Clover Creek. It has like all the animals on it and it's on both sides. You guys can design whatever sort of logo board you want. Before you guys ask, all of the logos you see in this video, so like all of the assets you see will be added into the files. So if you load into the world and this isn't here, you can always just like take this, put it down, go to new painting, add the file, and then just boom, easy peasy. You know, it's, it's really not difficult. I use immersive painting, so that's the mod that you'll need. And then I made a cute little logo over here. It's kind of hard to see because of the lighting, but like at night, it's nicer to see. On the outside of the barn, there's two little courtyards. There's this one, which is just the logo. And then this one is the fountain area. Um, I didn't really know what to put, so I just put a fountain and it, it looks kind of crusty, but you can put whatever you want out here. I have a lot of armor's workshop stuff around the barn. So this is one of those things. It's a block. Um, it is... A bucket of lemons and this one is just a bucket of water i'm gonna tell you right now this whole entire video is basically just gonna be me promoting armor's workshop if you are the or a developer for that mod let me mark it for you i got you because this video is about to be a an advertisement for you guys and i'm not ashamed of it with armor's workshop i'm going to show a lot of it in the barn but you can make things like blocks outfits i mean wings crowns all of that stuff i mean i have a hat on which is the bunny ears darth vader darth vader from the front Professor Snape from the back. Am I right? Look at that stiff walk. Wands at the ready. I'm gonna take that off. I also have like a bunny suit, but it's horrifying and I'm not gonna put you guys through that. Yeah, you can have like a lot of different blocks and I'm gonna be showing you them in a moment. We're gonna start with the barn. So these stall outsides, they're like a lot of my other stall designs. They're open so that the horses can stick their heads through here and like look all cute and stuff and like they're posing. And you can also like sneak in through here and fill up food and water and stuff. For some of these stalls, they're not quite done, but I'll be doing a final run through of the property and I'll be fixing all of that. So if you see like a small mistake, just know that'll be fixed. With both the entries, this is like the portrait area. I just put two random portraits of the different horses that I have on my server. And then on this wall, I have the trophy wall. And then over here is a really pitiful wall because I didn't know what to do with it. So enjoy that. So now for the actual stalls. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna walk in through this one. 
The stalls are big enough for a swim horse. You can't put shavings down here because this counts as a block, but you can put shavings right here if you want. So now you're gonna ask Peachy, what are these stalls? How do I get these? These are from Armor's Workshop. They were made by the amazing Lord Estel. He designed these for me and they have a few different parts to them. So they have these bars at the top, which are different blocks. There's three sets of them. They have the stall door, which I'll explain in a second. And they have the stall frames. This door is a walkthrough block, so that means you can walk through it. And I have a rider size web guard, so you can open it to bring the horse out or close it to only let you or like an animal in. The only problem I can foresee with this is a foal, but at that point they just stay with the mom, so. That point is just a skill issue on the foal's part, natural selection or whatever. Lotus decorated the stalls with blanket racks, but you can edit it to be whatever you want. For example, I found this out this morning when I was like trying designs for the stalls. It looks like you can hang ribbons up here. I think you can only do it on the corners because this isn't like a block or anything, but that's so cute. Oh, if you didn't watch my Clover Creek streams, I showed a lot of design things that I do. And one of them is I use Canva to make little logos like this. I just made this on stream and you guys helped with names and everything and show names and you guys approve the design so it goes above the stall because there's no like two by two blocks of where to put a name tag it's kind of difficult to put a plaque so i just chose above the stall it's also like you can easily view it when you're looking around it's pretty noticeable i didn't put anything on the sides of the stalls but you guys can put like bridal racks or whatever you want i'm about to look through the different rooms in the barn but there's 30 plus stalls in this barn so if i hear anybody complaining saying peachy there's not enough stalls in this barn yes there is i've completely forgot to mention but this can be moved this block right here so if you want to like go up here and close the stall door you can i have some of them open just for design i find it cute how you can like open up the stall door and you can also like do it all the way over here if you want easy peasy make the stall look completely open um but i'm just gonna close it like it was closed and then to actually place the web guards all you have to do is just get any block place it and then put it on top of it and it'll act as a door for you to open and close to get the horses out and you can't really see it unless you jump or go through the stall like this like it's invisible so it doesn't ruin the design at all this one is the office. This one was designed by Lotus. I added a few things, like for example, the Armors Workshop cabinets. What language is that? You can add storage to a lot of these and also a giant clock and a few different like decorations. This is just for like decoration slash design, but if you want to put it to use, you can. Over here is the tax slash equipment room. It's kind of empty. Feel free to design it how you want. And it's also a little dark, so maybe some lanterns would do it some good. And again, these have a lot of storage areas for players if you're playing with a lot of players on the other side of the barn there is the grooming and wash area the grates do have water in them if you need water buckets it is like an infinite water source so you don't have to worry about it ever going out there are buckets all around for design and up here we have the rubber ducky and a piggy bank filled with more rubber duckies don't spend it all in one place you're welcome and then on the other side of the aisle we have the feed room I just added like a little counter space because I said this in the stream, but I find that a lot of feed rooms and barns have kitchens. All of these are cabinets and this is made with the mod cluttered. So if you want to add different colors, it has all types of different colors. I just added green because like clover, clover green. Left side of the grain bin is rose feed and right side is normal sweet feed. And then the middle is just a cabinet and then a trash can in the corner and you can dispose of something successfully with this. I mean, if you're like tired of a block, easy peasy the last thing about this is the armor's workshop this is a cart and it allows you to store stuff in it and i personally don't like when you have a feed room or like a hay room filled with just a bunch of hay i know it's realistic but i personally don't like that so i just added a cart to store your bales on at the end of each aisle you can see like this little slot and i added the logos onto it so this one is mares and foals and this one over here is stallions and geldings and this can like be like for this entire aisle back here it's up to you how you want to design it and then over here i have the same thing except i left these slots open in case you want to add something yourself and this one is boarding and training oh my gosh look at the donkey look at the baby donkey look at that big old forehead so cute same though so on two of the outskirts of the barn i have personal pastures and these can either act as runs for the horses in the stalls or they can act as just like a personal pasture just put a horse out here by itself I'll show you, but in the cattle barn, I have a way for the animals to get out and then I can put them back in during the nighttime. So you can always do that. And on the entryway, there are iron grates by Quark. And thank you Riley for showing me this, but players can walk over them, but animals can't. 
So if you're scared of your cattle or your horses getting out, don't be. There's grates there. They won't walk over them. They're a little scared of them. They're a little spooked. So that was the barn and we're going to explore the rest of the property. I'm going to try to not go too quick, but at the same time, I do want to try and get this done so I don't like keep you guys here too long. This right here is either going to be like a warm-up area or a horse pasture. I don't really know what it was meant to be, but I just made it thinking like, okay, like something's going around the edge of it. So maybe a horse uh, like being warmed up, but it's kind of smaller. So it depends on like what you guys want to do with it. Over here is a pond with its very own ecosystem. Be careful what animals you put in here because they can't escape through these blocks. I put box turtles in here and the next day they were not here. So I don't know where they're at, but um, just be careful what animals you put in there. So this side of the property, I added like arenas, corrals, lunging pens, all of that. But on this side, I had nothing to add. So I thought, why not add a ton of bigger pastures? So this pasture over here can hold probably two to four horses. And this pasture here can hold a lot of horses. It's meant to be like a big group pasture. And of course you can add divider blocks if you want to kind of like block off horses or make your own little pastures. And then over here is again, like a two to four horse pasture. I didn't add any troughs or paddock feeders. You guys can do that, but um, there is potential to add like different drinking systems out here because the horses don't have access to water or add like a pond or something, that'd be cool. On the other side of the barn, there are just two empty lawns. Again, I a lot of it is empty because I don't know what to do with it. And what's fun about these barns is you guys can edit them. I forgot to mention that, but any barns you get from me, whether paid or free, you guys can edit them. Just don't redistribute them or re-upload them. That's all I ask. And you guys can also upload them to multiplayer worlds. I don't mind at all. Also, speaking of multiplayer, if you guys are ever interested in server hosting, you can use code JUSTPEACHY for 25% off your first month at Bisect Hosting. There are tons of different options for hosting. It's not just Minecraft, there's other games. And I have been using them for a while and they have amazing support and their system is really easy to use. Coming from somebody who just never understood server hosting, it's a lot easier to use than a lot of other services I've used. I just really quickly wanted to put that in there. Shameless promotion. On the other side of the pastures from the barn, there's just two blank spots. Again, you can put like a pasture here if you want. These will be gone by the time the barn is here, but these were just like fence designs for the arena that I was sampling. Now for the arenas, both of them are the same size and each one of them have four entries each. So like there's an entry right there, an entry right there, an entry right there there there's a lot of different places you can add different jumps or obstacles over here are the lunging pens slash corrals both of the end ones are the same size but the middle one is a little bit bigger you can see from like the top view these trees will be changed in style but i put trees i just noticed it was an owl that's unfortunate for me. I put these trees along this side and you guys always kind of complain like, can you not put trees along the back end because I don't know how to use world edit well and I want to build onto it. I got you because I understand that you guys want to expand onto your property. So I left a lot of these sides blank and I know it looks really bare because it's like the flat world, but this gives you the opportunity to plant trees or put trees wherever you want. Now onto the secondary barn, which is across from the main barn. You can make this barn whatever you want, whether it's like sick horses, mares and foals. But for this one specifically, I have it for cattle and animals. This barn is designed a little bit differently, but it has two sets of doors. So if you want to like walk in here, and bring an animal in and have this one closed. I don't know why, but Minecraft animals, the moment you have a fence gate open, they're like, I'm free. And then on the back end of the stall, there is a way that you can let the animals out into the paddock, which they connect to all of the stalls. So if you have a grumpy llama that you don't want with other animals, don't open up their stall. And then in the barn, I have a feed room because believe it or not, Minecraft cows do get into places and steal feed because these unbound hay blocks, they eat these. So just be aware about keeping doors open when you shouldn't be keeping doors open. Like if a cow gets out and they start chomping, they're taking all of that hay out. Sounds like I'm speaking from experience because I am. I have a little forest here. Lotus helped make these trees and I redesigned them to fit the vibe and the theme more. Over here is the indoor arena. Indoor arenas are always difficult. Riley helped a lot with this one, but this is one of my favorite designs I've ever seen in my life not just made by me, but just in general. The windows are like a gradual raise, like a gradient, and I love those so much. And there are like open pillar windows over here. It's just a very open feel. There are some things that I need to change in here. Like I need to finish the um, pillar design, but again, it's on my list. I'm gonna get it done. I just wanna record the video now because I already know by the time I'm done with this barn, I'm done. Like I'm, I, don't, I don't wanna do anything anymore. I want to go sleep for a week straight so i'm not lazy i'm just making the video before i finish a lot of the details you'll see that the arena flooring looks kind of weird with this view with the shaders but if you turn it off it looks kind of normal you guys can add your own jumps or whatever you want to do with it but just know that if anything looks kind of bright it's 
probably your shaders. Now that we've finished the walkthrough and we've explored the barn and the property, I'm going to be showing you how you get this barn. I do ask that through this process you pay attention and if something happens where it messes up or you didn't do something right, you can always repeat the process. It won't hurt your file. Just keep the zipped version safe. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to my Ko-Fi page. I'll leave the direct link in the description to the barn, but right now it's not posted, so I'm going to use my other free barns for example, but my Ko-Fi is just ko-fi.com slash plays. You go over to my shop and you find the barn that you want. I have some other free barns in case you're interested in those too. For example, I'm going to be using Sunflower Symphony, which it has 4.8k downloads that's crazy it says zero dollars or more you don't have to pay anything you can put zero dollars but if you maybe want to leave like a tip or something or you really like the barn and you want to add a donation that is a form of donating i ask that you read the entire description i know it's a lot i know i yap in these descriptions but they are there for a reason they tell you about the mod pack they tell you about the property they tell you about the rules like do not redistribute so now you put zero dollars get now and it'll say check out just check out it won't charge a card or anything if you have one on file i don't even think you need one on file to actually like get the barn so it'll show right up here it'll say sunflower symphony and then it'll say download download that it's completely safe it's just a zipped file with the barn in it i'm not trying to hack into your computer i promise i don't have enough time for that in the day so once you get the barn you'll see it in your download history you're going to open the folder it'll say show in folder whether free or purchased mostly purchased barns do not get rid of the zip file because sometimes Ko-Fi kicks you out of like the purchase thing and like makes you try to buy it again. Feel free to message me that if, if that ever happens to you guys, but like just keep the zip file, move it to like a special folder in your documents or something. But for now, just copy that file. So you're just gonna press copy and then you're gonna go and find your Minecraft folder. Make sure it's the right Minecraft folder. The best way to do this is you go into your Minecraft, press options, resource packs, and open pack folder. And then after that, you go to the actual folder and you'll see this set of files. So the file that you're looking for for this one is saves. You're going to go into saves and you're going to press paste and you'll see the zip file show up. So for this next process, you'll need something that can unzip and rezip files, mostly unzip because you won't be doing any rezipping in this circumstance, but same thing. My favorites are 7zip and WinRAR because both of them are free. Make sure you go to the right website though. There's a lot of virus websites, but just in case I'll put both of them in the description so you can go right to the website. I'm doing this with 7zip, but you can do the same thing with WinRAR. So I'm just gonna go to 7zip and you're going to do extract to sunflower barn and this file with the slash you'll see a file here. Now you may think, okay, cool, I'm done. I can go and look for the barn, right? No, wrong. When you unzip something, it is a layer file. So you're gonna go into the file and this is the actual file you'll need. I know that makes no sense, but zipping is like layering. So you take a file and you zip it and that puts it into another file. A lot of words I know, but just go into the file, get this file and move it to saves. And then once you do that, check the file. And if it has these folders, one layer in, you know you did it right. Let's leave this world really quick. And if you go to single player, it'll show Sunflower Barn 1.18.2. So for Dovington Equestrian Center, here is the zipped file. This is what it looks like, right? This is what the file will look like for the Clover Creek because I've been putting a lot more work into giving you guys all of the assets you need. That way you don't have to go and find them on the internet or get confused. They're all here for you. Right here, it says Dovington map, put in saves folder and go in here. You can see all the files one layer in. You're gonna take the file that says put in saves folder and put it in the saves folder. Once you do that, you can play the world normally. The painting assets will have all of the assets you need for immersive paintings like I showed in game. And the rest of these are just CIT packs and I explained the CIT help in here. So all you have to do is put these in your resource packs, keep this on file. You don't have to put this anywhere in your like Minecraft folder, just keep it on file. If you want to put it in your Minecraft folder, you can, it just won't add it to the game automatically. You'll still have to do it manually. And then this one in the saves folder. So remember how I said that we had stall designs by Lord Estel? Well, these are all put into a zip file, which will be in the file, and I'll be showing you how to get them into your game. You're gonna find the skin library creative and you're going to put it down in your world. Doesn't matter where you put it, just put it down. If you don't have the creative version, you're playing in survival, you can always use this as well. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to open library folder on your computer. This shows all of the files for your armor's workshop. So if you got something commissioned, you'll put it in here. Stalls for Peachy, the same thing. I just renamed the folder. So you're gonna take this and unzip it. And then right here, you can see stalls for Peachy. You're gonna go into here and you can load in whatever variant you want. And it even shows like a little 3D spin 
of the block there's ones that aren't designed and they have no coloring on them you can put them into the editor and actually color whatever design you want on them same thing for the slide thingy which is funny that lord s still named it slide thingy and of course there's like a walkthrough block and a normal block so if you don't want to walk through you can add that in yourself I'm really happy that you guys are going to have access to this barn and upon uploading this, it will be uploaded to Ko-Fi so you don't have to worry about waiting or anything like that. Patience? Patience who? Nobody here has patience. I don't have patience. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the free barn. Stay healthy and safe and hydrated and I will see you in the next video or stream. Mm -hmm.